Okay, everybody. Uh, today's project is removing the pedestal. Uh, I'm going to put penetrating oil on the nuts and bolts that's holding it to the cockpit floor, and then I'm going to work back, work my way back to the steering and put penetrating oil on the nuts and bolts holding the steering cables in place. And uh, then I'm going to come up top, disassemble what I can, go down below again, and if everything's loose enough, disconnect what I need to down there, come back up and pull the steering chain and cables out, and then we will see if I've got everything I need to take the pedestal out today. If not, um, I'll go get those tools and wrap it up because that's coming off today. Hello and welcome to the starboard lazarette. That means that uh, I am down below uh, on the right side of the cockpit. So, there's looking up and give you an idea where on earth I am. So got the battery compartment and come over here. Got the engine up here. Here's a fuel tank. And this is the stuff for the steering. And that's the steering quadrant. And those back there are the nuts and bolts holding the cables in place. Let me rotate that a little bit. So you can see that they cross paths right there. The one furthest away is, uh, that's on port side. And when we Eh, doesn't matter. Anyways, I got to disconnect those to remove the cable that goes up and through. And these cables hit these pulleys. And they go up through there. And this plate, this rusty plate, needs some cleaning and painting and some attention. But anyways, the chain over and attaches to the helm. So when you rotate it, it steers. And here I am down here. Cheers. Here's the pedestal, and you can clearly see there's the chain. And when I let me unlock it here, and you can see when I steer, it rotates. However, nothing's moving because I've got it disconnected down below. That's about to come out.
Well, I have uh, finished for the day, and uh, it, was, it was a productive day, and as is the case with most, most boat work, it took three times the effort. Uh, here's what it looks like now. You got the pedestal out, uh, the little blocks for the, for the rail. When I tried taking the nuts off from the underside, the uh, head spun freely, so I'll worry about those later when I get the fiberglass out. That'll give me some wiggle room. Um, but got it protected from the rain in the meantime, and uh, we'll see what it's going to take in the meantime to refinish the, uh, the, the pedestal at home. Um, see about some media blasting from a buddy. Hi, Steve. Wink, wink. Hopefully I can get a hand there. Um, we'll take a look. Um, I'll do some maintenance on it, clean that stuff up, and probably get a new light bulb as well for the compass. And uh, the bolts, um, two of the bolts when I tried loosening the nuts, they uh, completely snapped. So those need to be replaced. And the other two, as you can see, um, it took a flathead screwdriver, very large. I've never seen a, a screw that, or that required a screwdriver that big. Anyways, caused damage just putting the torque on it. Um, so I'll replace those. Um, and I did learn the fiberglass underneath it, if you didn't notice, was unfinished, which means that was absolutely factory install. So intriguing there, cool to see. Um, all that being said, um, projects going along, and as usual, it's exposing other things that need more work, so I'll see what we need to do with that. In the meantime, cool. Had fun doing this. Y'all take care. Oh, notice also, I filmed almost all of this in landscape mode, so yay, maybe there's hope. I remembered it most of the time, except when I was down below. Um, oh, I've got the, uh, I, got, I put the dodger up, and uh, the rest of the fabric I need to put up to enclose the cockpit is at home, so I'll have to bring that later. It's been so long since I used it, I, I couldn't remember. If it, I thought it was on the boat, but discovered it was not. So, all right, y'all take care. Later.